make sure that we get the kind of leadership that we deserve here in the city of Elk Grove. So without further ado, the woman of the hour. being the center of attention. I love being the one that empowers and helps others. But this journey is not about me. It's about all of you. I'm here in this race to fight for you and our city because we deserve leadership that treats everybody with respect. I want to recognize Rod Brewer with the CCSD and Jacqueline Moreno who are here with us today. Thank you. To our firefighters. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We've got Matt back there with our Teamsters. Yeah. Yeah. And most importantly, Elk Grove. This is yeah. Elk Grove. Yeah. Yeah. I recognize Bobby Roy, who's running uh, for Elk Grove Unified School District. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bobby. Another Bobby in the house. May we not surf together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of the work that's come to place here, and I really want to, a lot of that goes to Pablo Espinosa, which, where did he disappear? He's taking pictures. He's taking pictures. <laughs> that man right there. And so many of you who encouraged me and really pushed me to run for this seat. I didn't want to run for this seat. Many of you know that. This was not about me. But I had to heed that call to public service, to that next level of service, because we have a bully at City Hall. My journey with the school board started because I was not receiving enough support from my school district for my son who was being bullied. Eight years later, it was that same call to service. We have a bully at City Hall who does not treat his community with respect. That is why I am here, because every single one of us Regardless of the uh, amount of contributions that somebody gets, it's not about your title. We all deserve to have a seat at the table, and we all deserve respect. That's right. yeah. I am so proud that I have the, the support and the endorsements from both business and labor, because it's going to take both. It's going to take both sides to bring our community together to help Elk Grove move forward and truly thrive. We need everyone to have that seat at the table. I am known as a unifier, not only in my community, but especially in our school district. I helped lead a working group called Partners in Education, where we brought labor, management, and school board to the table. We meet regularly to make decisions in the best interest of our kids and our families and our district. That same type of leadership is what I offer all of you, where we all come together and make decisions to help every single Elk Grove resident. Because we're not going to move forward, particularly in a pandemic world, without everybody working together. Those key words there, together, collaboration, stakeholder engagement, that is central to my candidacy of why I'm running for Elk Grove. We are going to move this city forward and we will truly thrive we will help rebuild our local economy for our businesses. My brother owns a small business here. We know what that, uh, the suffering has looked like. He literally stays open just to put food on the table for his employees. We need a mayor that will be a strong advocate for those small business owners who are suffering right now. With all of your support, we are gonna succeed. Yeah. It has not been easy, and so many of you know why. From death threats to her continuous harassment and bullying, but I stand up and I rise every day because I will not be silenced and not will any one of us be silenced ever again. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you everyone for coming here this morning. Uh, we have a lot of work. We just have a little over three weeks left. 
And I'm so proud to have the endorsements of not only from the Lieutenant Governor, but from our friends and our neighbors, our teachers, and all of you. We will prevail with all of your support. Are you with me? Yeah! yeah.